again now this is again one of the application of Kramer's rule in which uh, we will we'll apply Kramer's rule to simple demand and supply model of microeconomics so this is a simple model so QD is equal to A minus BP, BP plus FY where P is price and Y is income QS is equal to C plus P, uh, C plus DP minus GPI, where P is the price of the commodity and PI is the price of inputs, okay, which are going into the, which are, which are going into the production of this commodity. Uh, and the third is an identity, which is QD equals to QS. Now, once you have done this, okay, what will you do is that you will again, you can, you can write this system into the matrix form. So, what are the endogenous variable into in this system? The endogenous variable in this system are QD is determined within the system. QS is determined within the system. And P is determined within the system. Apart from that, everything else is exogenous. Y and PI are, PI are exogenous variables. A, B, C, D, F, G are constants the parameters. So you can write the above system of equation in the matrix form as we have done in our earlier recordings also. What we have done is that you can you can probably take all the endogenous variable on the one side that is on the left hand side and all the constant and the exogenous variables on the right hand side of the equation. So you'll have QD plus VP equals to A plus FY which could be written as QD plus 0QS plus BP is equal to A plus FY because there is no QS, so you will put 0 in place of that. QS minus DP equals to C minus GPI. You can write this as 0 QD plus QS minus DP equals to C minus GPI. There is no QD here, so you will put 0 in place of that. QD minus QS is equal to 0, which could be written as QD minus QS plus 0 P equals to 0, which is since there is no p here so you'll write zero in place of that then you will form the coefficient matrix this is the coefficient matrix which you will form seeing the values of the coefficients from above here this is the matrix of variables this is a column vector and this is the matrix of the exogenous variables now your idea is to find out the to find out the solution to these endogenous variables. So how will you do that? What you'll have to do is that first of all you'll have to check whether this A is invertible or not. So you'll just write the coefficient matrix and you'll find out the determinant. This will come out to be minus D minus B. Now this A, uh, D and B are both greater than 0. So they will not come out to be equal to zero since so this is an invertible matrix. Now using Kramer's rule, what will you do is now once you'll find once once you want to find out the value for QD, what will you do is that you will superimpose this A onto the first column of the coefficient matrix. Okay? And that's what you have done here. That's what you have done here. Okay, you've superimposed the column of exogenous variables on the first column of the coefficient matrix and then you will calculate this and this is one upon determinant A. So expanding along the first column now we'll have A plus FY A plus FY so what will you do is since you are expanding it along the first column you'll forget about this and this so what is left is 1 minus D minus 1 0 then minus C minus GPI for the reasons you know and this thing so what is left is 0 B minus 1 0 and then you will be calculating all this so in place of determinant A what will you write is minus 1 upon B plus D okay you have to write it as 1 upon determinant A so my, you can write this as B plus D so Calculating this, you'll be cal you'll be getting the value for QD as sorry, you'll be getting the value for QD as AD plus FY plus BC minus BGPI upon B plus D. So kindly tell me in case if I have done something wrong in algebra. Okay, in case QS, what will you do is that you will superimpose this column onto the second column of the coefficient matrix, 
and you'll get the value for QS. So QS would be 1 upon determinant A and the second column here. So what will you do is this and your value for QS should come out to be AD plus FY plus BC minus VGPI upon B plus D. This is a simple uh, calculation of a determinant, nothing. So you've just expanded it along the first column, nothing else, So which you guys can do. And the third one, once you want to find out P, what will you do is that you will superimpose this column onto the third column of the coefficient matrix, okay? So what has been done is that here, so that column has been superimposed on the third column of the coefficient matrix and again you will be you will be expanding it along the first column and you will be getting this okay so do not forget this one upon determinant a huh? so what will you have is eventually p equals to c plus gpi plus a plus fy upon b plus d so what the signs would be and all, I mean, that's not the condition right now, which I'll be talking to you, uh, to, uh, talking about the signs of, of, of these things. Once we'll get into uh, the implicit function theorem. And moreover, we are interested more in signs in case if we have, uh, um, when we are talking about the derivatives, okay? So, so thank you very much. This was the application of uh, Kramer's rule in economics for demand and supply model.